Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. A guy who dates, who wants to date you or spend time with you, is going to do these things. A guy who just wants to bang you, okay, is going to do these things. Well, girls, I'm going to go through this, and I'm going to tell you the reality. <laughs> and, <laughs> my dear God. Oh, and I haven't read this. I have not read this. What should we do first? A guy who wants, we should, okay. a guy who wants to date you or a guy who wants to bang you? Which one should we do first? A guy who wants to date you. <laughs> and it'll become apparent why. A guy who wants to date you. Stays in contact. He doesn't ghost. Okay. Well, ghosting means forever. But I guess in today's day and age, someone can ghost you and for days, right? Well, if you're dating someone and you're in a relationship, meaning you've gone out a few times with them and they don't stay in contact with you during the day, a high anything, like, like it takes two seconds, okay? This is not, an, this is not, a, a, this is not a video about establishing trust. Okay, well, I might as well. All right, okay. Um, one, of, one of the best ways to establish trust in a relationship is to be able to go a day without talking. So like, say for example, uh, you go out with a guy on a Saturday, Friday, or Saturday night, and you don't hear from him all day Saturday, and then on Sunday, you do. Okay, even and or Monday. What is happening when you go out on Friday night, and then you, you get more in contact on Sunday? And then either that or on Monday, right? Depending on how old you are. I know older, you're going you're gonna to go to Monday or Tuesday. Younger, you know, uh, Sunday or something like that. Okay, get it. All right. What that does is that establishes trust. And it's very, very important for a relationship. I mean, it's like seriously important. And what it does is it allows you to spend time with that individual then to leave them and have them establish back to you that even though you didn't talk and even though you weren't remember, pushing and pulling and sending love expressions that you didn't send or pull on them or push any love expressions to them, they came back and felt the same as they did on Saturday night. See, so you see what that does? So you have like the, the, the younger dating, you know, under 21, over 21, going into 25, going into 30, where I got to be there to remind them I'm here, remind them, remind them, remind them. Well, that reminding and the longer it goes on, the more it harms that foundational trust. All right. So just maybe I'll do a video on that later, but that's kind of the nuts and bolts of it. All right. So stays in contact, doesn't ghost you. Guy who wants to date you stays in contact. Okay, fine, whatever. All right. Makes plans and sticks to them. No, see, that doesn't mean anything. Um, that's just having honor and respect. If a guy, no, it's not, the, a guy who wants to date you cannot be determined by making plans and sticking to them. That's about, that's foundational to who that person is. Period, end of story. So that has nothing to do with wanting to date you or bang you. Sorry, it, it, it doesn't. Um, if someone can't make plans and stick to them, that is an indication of who they are and what they are going to be as they get older. Okay? So if you're with someone who can't make plans, uh, it doesn't mean he just wants to bang you. It means he's a fucking loser. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not someone you want to, it's not someone that you want to invest your, a lot of your emotional uh, time and value of you into them. As simple as that. It has nothing to do with dating. All right. Compliments you in a sweet way, calling you beautiful, complimenting your intelligence and things that go beyond your surface. Oh, oh, who wrote this fucking shit? Okay. That's not true. Okay. It, no, because I call my girlfriend's names all the time. I've always done it my whole life. And what I mean by names is, is it, I mean... <laughs> I'm not even going to say it because my mom could be watching. I'm serious. Okay, I, I mean like, 
I, I'm not even going to say it. Okay, this, this is false. Okay. A, a guy who, who compliments you, it, it's, it's when, he, when, he, when you walk out or he, and he opens the door for you, it, 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 the, who he is, he's just going to say, God, you look really nice, or God, you look beautiful, or, or he'll compliment your shoes, okay? And if you're a guy, compliment her shoes, oh, you're getting laid. No, I'm teasing, I'm teasing, all right, all right. But just notice the finer details. Like, I'll notice shoes, I'll notice earrings, I'll notice a, a haircut, I'll notice whether it was blown out, I'll notice whether it's straighter than it normally is, um, I'll notice whether uh, a pair of pants or, or uh, something compliments, makes her look thinner, hips, ass, you, you know, I just notice that stuff. And I say it just, I'm not trying to get in your fucking pants and I'm not trying to make win you over. I'm simply just telling you what I see. Okay, so this isn't true. That's not an indication. Okay, so will find random excuses to touch you, like a hand around the waist or brush your hair, ha well, or brush your hair behind your ears. Oh, God, who wrote this bullshit? Okay, that, that's not true. Um, you will, to t bullshit. Uh, first of all, uh, when I go out to dinner uh, with a girlfriend, I sit next to her, right next to her. And, and, and my habit and what I do is I take my hand, I don't know why, I, <laughs> shit, I've done this my whole life. I take my hand and I put it underneath her thigh. I have no idea why. Maybe I'm a kid and that feels like security. I, I don't know, but that's what I do. I'm constantly touching, constantly. And it has no bearing whatsoever whether I want to bang you or date you. I just, it's just not, it's just not true is respectful when you tell them you want to take it slow sexually. Oh my God. Okay, that's not true either because most guys know that the girl is saying that to test them. So most guys are already tuned to say, hey, yeah, yeah, no problem. I feel the same way. I do. And inside they're like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not true. Okay, and, and you know what? Don't, don't say this. Don't, it, it, don't say this. Don't ever say you want to take... Um, you should never have to tell a guy that you like that you want to take sexual, uh, sex slow. So don't ever say it again. Okay? Very bad to say. Asks how your day was. Wants to know your feelings and thoughts. Is genuinely interested in what you have to say. Bullshit. <laughs> okay, that's honor and respect, okay? This is what he learned from having a nice relationship with his mom. Hey, mom, how are you? Oh, you look nice today, mom. What's going on today? How you feeling? That's where that comes from, okay? Is nice to your dog or cat or whatever animal you might have. I swear to God, I think a 10-year-old wrote this. Okay. People who are not nice to animals. Uh, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. I don't even know what to say. Cooks for you. Does sweet things like kissing you on the forehead. You know what I think this is written by? I think this is written by a little girl who's, who's, um, went to her, uh, went to her mom or dad <laughs> and then, and then searched the internet for a guy who just wants to bang you. <laughs> Kissed you on your fucking forehead. Okay. We'll give you a massage whenever you ask for one. Bullshit. Okay. This is how this works with giving you a massage whenever you ask for one. All right. I'm 49 years old. If a girl, if, if I tell anyone I've ever dated, and, and I, I told my wife this, married 13 years with her for 18, okay. You want me to play with your hair? She loved that shit, okay? You want me to play with your hair? I'll play with your hair for as long as you ask. You have to get in the right position. Prop my arm up so it doesn't get lethargic, fall asleep, and I will massage and do whatever you like for as long as you want. Swear to God, my hand will never stop. 
Then, then at another time, if I ask you for the same in a sexual favor, you better fucking do it. I swear, that's how that works. Oh my God, that's how that works. I don't, in the dating world, I would assume it's the same. I, seriously, why is it? <laughs> okay, now as it relates to a massage, okay? We'll give you a massage whenever you ask. Are you kidding me? That's they give a massage is a direct doorway to getting laid. Okay. We'll give you a massage whenever you ask for one. I'll give a massage when whenever a girl asks me to, because that same girl is never going to tell me no on a sexual advance. And the reason why I give a massage whenever she asks for one is because the respect comes back when I never hear no. I have a headache. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. Never happens to me. Never. And I never say no. And it has nothing to do with wanting to date you. Okay. Enjoy spending time with you even if it does not lead to sex. Well, based on the fact that I'll give a massage when, whenever she asks, and I never say no on other things, and I'm always cordial. Uh, I always open the door. I'm a perfect gentleman. Um, I always stay in contact. I make plans and I stick to them. I compliment in very sweet and caring and loving ways. I'm always touching outside the, bath, outside the bedroom. I'm always affectionate. Um, never hear, well, this takes slow, whatever. Um, I always ask and am always interested in, in what someone, someone I'm dating is doing. I'm nice to all animals. I love animals. Cats, no, because the dander and the fur gets in me and I'm allergic and blah, blah, blah. But I can't help it. I got to touch them anyway and wash my hands. So you got a cat. I'm going to touch the cat, wash my hands. Touch the cat, wash my hands. Dogs, love them to death, okay? I'll cook and whatever for you, no problem. And, and do sweet things like kissing on your forehead. Well, I'm a public... Def I'm public display of affection all the goddamn time. Do I do crazy stuff like get a room? No, I don't do that. But who does and why should you? Okay? And, and massages, I already covered that. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but everything I just said, enjoy spending time with you even though it does not lead to sex. Well, it always leads to sex. And why is that? Because I do all of these things and the girl wants to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll happily let you borrow his, okay, now I know I'm dealing with a 10-year-old. Okay, who fucking, okay, we'll happily let you borrow the hoodie. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. Not only will I let you borrow the hoodie, but I'll go buy one, wear it, put cologne on it so it smells like me, let you wear it, right? Just so I can bang you. In the hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll treat you like the goddess you deserve to be treated. Don't ever question your worth. Oh, Jesus. Okay. First of all, if a girl that I was dating ever, and I mean ever, said, I'm a goddess, um, I would be texting her and asking her, how does the back of my head look? Do I have a cute butt? Because I would leave. And I'm not kidding. Goddess. Okay, that's like me saying, um, uh, a girl who wants to date me is going to treat me like the king that I am. Did that sound as foul through the video as it did entering my ears or coming out my mouth and going in my ears? Okay. All right, okay, I told you I did this in the right order. All right, a guy who just wants to bang you. All right, will tell you you're hot. By the way, I despise being called hot. Will compliment you a lot on your looks, but nothing beyond that. It will be mostly surface. Okay, well, let me share with you this. Because I do all of these things, when I call her hot and or any other word that resembles hot and I talk about everything on surface, because I'm standing on the foundation of all of this and I call her hot, 
By the time the tea leaves my mouth, her panties are off. Because I stand on the foundation of all of this. We'll try to hang out with you, but only at a place and time that is convenient for him. I don't even know what that means. I, I'm sorry, I don't even know what that means. All right, won't, won't take you out places. We'll simply invite you over to his house. If he takes you out, it'll be somewhere that he doesn't frequent often so his friends won't see him. I, I don't even... Now I know I'm now I know this is like 17 18 years old. Okay. So won't take you out places. We'll simply invite you over to his house. Okay, well but but okay. I told you the foundation that I stand on, right? Um so this wouldn't even ever come into the picture because it just it's just not. I, I don't even understand what okay. I'm going to move on from that one. I, I mean, if you're dealing with this, I don't know if that's just a guy who just doesn't want to bang you, but this is, how about this? This guy's not fun. Go find a guy who's fun. <laughs> that's what this means to me. We'll guilt trip you into sleeping with him. These types of men are extremely pushy. Oh, come on, girls. That's, come on. Come on. It, if you lay on your back for a guy who does that, you deserve what you get. I'm not kidding. You deserve it. 100%. We'll take, a, we'll take advantage of you when you're in an incapacitated mental state. That's my funnest thing to do. Are you freaking kidding me? If you're dating someone you're, and you're in a relationship and, and, and it's standing on this foundation, right? Are we talking about comatose drunk or are we talking you just went out to dinner you were at friends you got drunk and and she's tipsy or you're tipsy I, I mean this happens in a loving relationship when you've established the foundation if you're in this position and and well, this is rape <laughs> what the fuck? that's what this is are you kidding I'm going to address this correctly and professionally. If a girl is incapacitated because of alcohol, this is rape. If a girl is so fucked up that she can't even push away, that's rape. Never in my life. I mean... It, it just, I don't even know, uh, okay. Um, men like this should trigger a feeling in your gut. Self-care is not sticking, self-care is not sticking around to find out why your intuition is telling you to leave. Always listen to your gut. Now I know that this is, this, in, this, this person is very young and, and, okay, because of the next one, will gaslight you. All right. Why? Okay. Uh, I, yeah. I, okay. Um, this just got really stupid, and yeah, this is this is like the worst list. Okay. Um, we'll come into your life when it's convenient for them. Uh, you'll hear from them that they will disappear again. You'll hear from them, and then they'll disappear again for a few weeks. They aren't consistent and stick around. Okay. Um, if okay, uh, if you don't know what gaslighting is, uh, read, watch some of my other videos. I'll do a video on gaslighting. Uh, and and how, what, how it comes about, how it starts, and then how it manifests itself, how it matures, and how it eventually destroys the relationship. Uh, I'll do a video on that, okay? Because um, I've only touched on it in other videos. We'll come into your life when it's convenient for them. You'll hear you'll hear from them, and then they will disappear again. Okay, that's not a relationship. It, why why do you need to follow your gut on that? Uh, he doesn't care. Uh, God damn. Acts like they want to take you on a real date. Play, please listen to the fact that if he uses the word real date and you've already banged them, they don't want to take you anywhere. Says what you think you want to hear. Doesn't ask you how your day was or about things or feelings. Doesn't care enough uh, to want to know. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay. Uh, girls, I I'm going to tell you the reality. Okay? 
And I'm going I'm to keep it to three things. What's the difference between a guy who just wants to sleep with you and a guy who wants a relationship with you, okay? Number one. Attentive. Period. End of story. Attentive. You know what the word means? <laughs> um, <laughs> attentive. Okay. Jesus. Um, he acts like he gives a shit. He's not too much. He's not too little. He's attentive. He gives a shit. He includes you. He talks about you. He talks to you. He talks with you. Attentive. Affect. Is that how you spell affection? I can't spell. Okay? As smart as I am, I can't spell. Affectionate? <laughs> I don't know. If it's wrong, I don't give a fuck. Okay. He's affectionate. He doesn't okay, he doesn't do stupid shit. <laughs> he he will express through body language everything under the sun. And I mean everything under the sun. And if he's attentive, you will let him. Period. <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh my God. He'll show confidence in his actions toward you. He will grab your hand and he will hold it. He will open the door for you, the door for you. He will not wait for you to make actions. He will, because I'm insecure. Oh, if, if you have a guy that's not insecure, something's wrong with him, okay? Because we all go through this. So sometimes, yeah, I don't text in the morning. I want you to text me. It's a give and a take. It's a push and a pull. And if you don't think that I don't remember yesterday that I waited and you texted me, the first motherfucking thing I'm doing in the next morning is saying, hi, good morning. Absolutely, because I'm remembering that you did it for me yesterday. That's being attentive and affectionate. Okay? Like I just said, grabbing your hand. If the last time I got up or got out of the car or I'm on my way to the restaurant and I go to grab your hand, if you think that I don't, if you think that I'm not watching your body posture to see if you're making your hand available to me, not grabbing mine, but making it available. You have in your pockets, you're not in your purse, you're not in your phone. Yeah, I'm watching that. <laughs> He'll show confidence in how he acts toward you. That confidence is his desire to have you. And, <laughs> and what do you think all of this? means. He wants to bang you. And guess what? If he's attentive, affectionate, and shows confidence in his actions toward you, you are going to let him. <laughs> well, at least if you're over the age of 16, I guess. This is Marty. I hope this helps, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>